disrespected your mother. Like, I would have never disrespected your mother. Now you with her and she disrespect your mother. your girl is back again with another story time if you to my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't even gotta say nothing because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's some way that's some way that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all can see by the title of the video your girl is back again with another story time today we'll be telling y'all the time on how i left my ex for dead y'all this was not on purpose but it just happened but we gonna go ahead and get into it so y'all already know in order for any of my story time to make sense i have to give y'all a little backstory and i need y'all to be here like me and you we need to be here y'all because this story time has a lot of components i feel like this story time is going to be hella long but i'm going to try to i'm going to try to make this a 30 minute story time but it's a lot to it because it goes from like the span of 2015 all the way up into 2018 and a lot happened in between this is my former ex from the he helped me hot shit story time if you haven't seen that story time you probably need to go back and see that story time and then come back to this story time just so it can make sense but i'm gonna leave off right there so i told y'all i broke up with him because he helped me hostage y'all he locked me out the house um locked me in the house took away my keys um basically took my phone basically y'all he just isolated me and after that situation i just had enough i was done i broke up with him and i didn't think it was gonna be easy because y'all know when you when you get well i don't know if y'all know but people used to always tell me this growing up they used to say when you and your first love break up it's gonna be like the hardest thing like it's gonna just be really really hard for you to get over him and you're gonna be stuck on him and y'all gonna be like trauma bond together and you're gonna keep going back this is what people used to tell me because he was like my first everything but i wasn't his first everything i was kind of just like done with the situation we dated for like two years so he knew all my family i knew all his family um i really liked his family he really liked my family um but i feel like once you're an ex if i cut you off i pretty much cut your family off like there's no beef with your family but if i'm not really messing with your son then i'm not messing with your mama i'm not messing with your family like it's a donata but y'all it wasn't like that for him like although i had cut him off i had moved on i was seeing other people i was dating other people exclusively i would come home from like school breaks and stuff and this man would literally be at my house in my living room talking to my father um one time i had went through my mother's phone and i had seen that him and my mother were conversing about me like what do y'all have to talk about like i'm no longer the topic like why are y'all still talking about me and this is like months after me and him was not together no more like when i say people would literally come up to me like throughout the years this will be months after we had already broke up people will come up to me and be like oh aren't you oh we didn't even give him a name um we're gonna call him we're gonna call him brussels sprouts y'all people would come up to me and they would be like oh aren't you brussels sprout ex-girlfriend oh what happened to you and brussels sprout oh brussels sprout said you was crazy and people would say this because like i said y'all we dated for two years so people from my hometown like knew that that was me and i was him but we split or whatever but people would still come up to me and they would say oh he said this about you they said this about you but i would kind of annoy it because i knew he was coming from a place of hurt like we were no longer together and i do want to mention i still seen him around like we didn't go to the same school i went to family at the time he went to tcc but y'all know or if you don't know tallahassee is small everybody kind of knows everybody like if you go to fsu i'm pretty sure you probably know a lot of people at fam if you go to tcc you probably know a lot of people at fsu like the community in the city is small it's a college town so i would be at socials and i would see him i would be at family events and i would see him there i would be at apartment complexes like i would be places y'all and i would see him i could literally go to Publix and he would would be there like i would still see him around although i had moved on i was in another relationship he was with flutes he was with other women as well um but i never knew if these relationships were serious but i just know i would like occasionally see him around with other people what inspired this story time is literally him recently well let's say last week um i still have all my exes on social media y'all and i know y'all thinking like girl why you got your exes on social media but y'all i don't i don't block nobody like they need to see me like they need to see how i'm living and what's going on in my life so i don't block exes on social media so basically um i posted a story last week y'all and like wait, wait let me let me back up so two days before i posted this story I am on Facebook and I'm going down my timeline. So I see Brussels Sprouts. He posted a post and I think um, he didn't have a caption. I think the caption was just like heart emojis. And it was like five or six pictures of him 
and this female and i'm assuming that this was his girlfriend or whatever so i seen the picture y'all i'm not no hater the girl was pretty i i double tapped the picture and i kept it moving and then two days later y'all i post on my uh, facebook story uh, like a picture of me this is the picture that i posted i posted this picture of me and my ex he swipes up and he's like prettiest woman alive and i'm just thinking like you can't be talking about me like how is that me like how am i the prettiest woman alive when it should be your girlfriend like it should be the woman you just posted approximately two days ago 48 hours ago like how how is it me but that's just to prove the point that even to this day we have i think we haven't y'all we it's been five years since i've been with him and he's still kind of like somehow in my life like every once in a while i'll hear from him i'll get a call from him or like he'll just like write me on social media or whatever so boom Fast forward, uh, mind y'all, we officially broke up, I believe, at the end of 2017. Fast forward all the way to 2018, I believe. I'm a junior in college at this point, and Christmas break is coming up, and I go home for Christmas break to see my mother. I do want to say me and Brussels Sprouts are from the same place. Like, I'm from Ocala. He was also from Ocala. And like I said, our families, we didn't live, we didn't live too far from each other. So I'm in Ocala, and i'm home or whatever and it's christmas and y'all know how mothers are you know they post your kids like oh little asia home from christmas I, I i happy to have my daughter home so my mom posts a picture of me and when she posts this picture brussels sprout mom and my mom are mutual friends on facebook so his mom brussels sprout mom sees this post and she comes underneath the post and she was just like oh i miss asia tell her to come see me Mind you, Brussels Sprouts and my mom, Brussels Sprouts mom and my mom, they probably live about 10 minutes from each other. So she sees the comment and she's like, oh, I miss Asia. Um, I, I'm always asking about her, tell her to come see me. So y'all, I see this comment and at the time, I'm the type of person, like if I cut my ex-boyfriend off, I cut the family off, I cut everybody. I don't feel like it's a reason for me to keep, um, like be in co communication with my ex's family. Cause it's just like, once you dead to me, the family dead to me, there's no hard feeling or no bad blood, but it's just like, like why am I cahoots with the person that broke my heart? Like I don't need to be in cahoots with him or his family. So I see this comment or whatever. And at the time I do have a boyfriend, I'm dating somebody at this time. And my mom is like, oh, Miss Brussels Sprouts, I, I, I um, said, she miss you, she wants you to come see her or whatever. And I was home for Christmas. I wasn't really doing anything. All of my friends, they had also went off to college and they no longer had lived in the city anymore. So I decided to go over there, y'all. It had probably been like two years since the last time I had seen his mom. So I go over there, um, his family is there. Um, his mom sees me, she gives me like the biggest hug. I give her a hug. He also had little sisters and I was very cool with the little sisters. So I'm saying hi little sisters. I'm like, hey, how you doing? The mom is saying, oh, I see your pictures that your mom posts. I always ask Brussels sprout about you. Um, he always telling me that you're doing good, this, that, and that. So I'm just like, oh yes, I miss y'all too. Like how's life? So the mom is just, um, she kind of confiding to me, y'all. She starts to talk about Brussels Sprouts' new girlfriend. Mind you, y'all, I didn't know this man had a new girlfriend. I didn't know any of this. Cause if I did notice, I honestly wouldn't have came just simply because like I said, I'm an ex. If my boyfriend at that time had an ex-girlfriend that was coming over to his mama house, I would be like, like, why is she here? Like, I don't care. Honestly, I wouldn't even care why you why, like why you here. You could be there to see the roaches in the cabinet during Thanksgiving. I don't I don't care who you there to see. You could be there to pick up a shirt from two years ago. Like I'm I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be like, why is she here? So at this time, when his mom told me that he had a girlfriend and she started talking all of this stuff about the girl, I instantly was just kind of like dang like i probably should leave um it's christmas i hope this girl don't come over here like i kind of just felt wrong and i kind of felt out of place although i did not know that my ex um brussels sprout had a new girlfriend so i'm sitting on the couch and his mom starts talking about what happened during thanksgiving so it literally happened like a few weeks ago y'all know um thanksgiving is november christmas is at the end of december so boom, I'm sitting there, I'm on the couch and his mom, um, once I finish spilling all my tea and I'm telling her how I'm doing in school and what I'm doing this and what I'm doing that, then she goes into details about Brussels Sprouts' new girlfriend. Um, what are we gonna name her? We're gonna call her, um, I don't wanna be petty. I don't, I don't even wanna do it. We're gonna call her Cockroach. 
So she starts talking all of this smack about um, Cockroach. She just like, oh, uh, Brussels Sprout brought this girl Cockroach here for no, uh, for Thanksgiving. And when she came in my house, she didn't even speak to me. She walked right to that back room. Brussels Sprout don't have no room here. I don't know why she went to that back room. I don't know why she didn't speak to me. So the whole time while the mom is telling me all of this, I'm on the couch like, what? She went to the back room. She didn't even speak to you, Miss Brussels Sprout. What? So I'm just kind of hyping her up, y'all. Y'all know. I'm a little petty so i'm hyping her up or whatever so she's just like yeah she went right to that back room i had to tell brussels sprout she don't know me i don't play like that I, I, I. so she's telling me all of this y'all and when she's saying all of this i'm literally like looking up at the sky and i'm just like thank you lord like jesus answered my prayers like jesus literally answered my prayers and y'all probably like asia what are you talking about but like i said y'all this was my first love so when we split I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all know how people be like, oh, when exes split, they be like, oh, I wish them the best. I want them to prosper in life. Like, I just, I just want the best for them, genuinely. But y'all, I'm not one of them. I'm not even gonna lie. I wish you the worst on your worst day. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't wish exes the best. Well, at this time, because he broke my heart. If y'all go back and watch the whole situation with the him keeping me hostage, and I talk about some of the things we went through in our relationship, y'all will get why I didn't wish him the best. So at that time, when we split every single day, and I know y'all, this gonna sound crazy, and I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but every single day, y'all, I used to pray to God that he get somebody that's worse. Like I used to pray that he get somebody that didn't appreciate him because I appreciated him. Like I was there for him. So I wanted him to be with somebody that didn't appreciate him and that didn't treat him well just so he can appreciate me. So he can look back and think like, damn, Asia was a good one. Damn, I lost a good one. So I used to I used to pray on his downfall. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not like this anymore, y'all. God has delivered me from that hatred. I no longer have that hatred in my heart for him. But at this time, in 2018 that hatred was still in my heart so when his mom was just like oh i almost fought her and i basically had to kick them out and i do want to mention she had like i don't know if y'all are familiar with these things but they're called like pods a lot of people in florida will have these they're they're pods but they kind of turn their pot slash uh sheds they kind of turn them into like little storage units sometimes people turn them into like living rooms sometimes they they basically just turn them into whatever they want to turn them into but his mom had turned their pot into like a kind of like a guest house and she said that her and the girl had gotten into it so bad that she told Russell Spout that cockroach couldn't stay there and she had to go but obviously Russell Sprout needed to stay at his mom's house because it was Thanksgiving during that time so him and cockroach they end up spending the night in the um the pod that was in the back of her house because the mom said that she couldn't stay in her house because she was disrespectful she didn't speak she had an attitude um her and the mom basically got in a big altercation and she said the mom basically was telling me that she was about to fight the girl so i'm on the couch y'all i'm eating popcorn eating popcorn eating popcorn buttering it up i'm just i'm inhaling everything i'm taking it everything and the whole time in my mind i'm just like I really don't want to be here because I found he had a girlfriend but at the same time I'm just like oh my gosh like really she did that like 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 that's crazy like I'm just like that's crazy or whatever but in my brain I'm thinking like oh my gosh like Jesus like Jesus you answered my prayers like I was praying that he would get somebody that was really crazy because he was telling people throughout the years I told y'all people would come up to me and be like oh um Brussels Spout said you was crazy Brussels Spout said you did this Brussels Spout said this that and the third about you and it's just like <sighs> Jesus answered my prayers like God sent you a crazy person like God sent you somebody that disrespected your mother like I would have never disrespected your mother now you with her and she disrespect your mother like, I'm just keeping it real that's the type of stuff I used to hope for like I was never the oh I wish the best nah baby I wish the worst like I don't wish the best like I hope this man go ball before he hit the age 30 I hope his balls drop before 40 like I hope she cheat on him with another nigga and have a baby and tell him that the baby is his like this is what type of stuff I was hoping for because I was hurt like at that time I was really hurt like I was over him and I didn't want to be with him anymore but I was just hurt from all the things that people would come and tell me like I was I would still get reminders of him like throughout the years people would come and tell me things he was still being like very um addictive and he was still being very malicious and trying to be around my family and just kind of trying to still be around although he knew I was in committed relations I had like I had like three boyfriends after him and he was still around 
so his mom is telling me all of this stuff so at this time i'm just like wow like there's a god like wow so she's saying all of this stuff she goes on and on and on after that you know we change the topic she starts telling about other stuff i end up eating um some things not thanksgiving i end up eating some christmas um food over there with him i'm talking to his sisters i think we were like watching a movie i probably was over there for like two or three hours y'all okay y'all so fast forward a few weeks after um thanksgiving sorry christmas is over I leave my mom's house, um, the break is over, I'm back in school, and literally, I think like a week after that, I'm on Snapchat, and I see that Brussels Sprout posts the girlfriend, he posts his cockroach, and y'all, I see her, and she's cute, but she's not me, but she's cute, I'm not even a hater, so I see her or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, okay, so this must be serious, like, he posting her on social media, she's meeting the mom, like, obviously, he's in an exclusive relationship with this girl. I go about my day, and literally, y'all, a week later, <laughs> I'm at Set Friday, and for, for y'all that's new here and y'all don't know what Set Friday is, it's basically like a celebration that fam you have on their set every Friday where different organizations come out, they sell stuff, they dance, um, they have food, it's basically like a mini barbecue with the school people from like fsu tcc other schools people that don't go to school everybody and their mama be at set friday so i'm at set friday y'all and i'm with my girl k and i remember just standing on the set and i'm watching an organization dance and i kind of just like felt somebody like piercing my scalp with their eyes like somebody was like staring like deep into my scalp so um i kind of turn around like i do it you know discreetly i kind of turn around and i look and I'm like, oh snap, that looked like cockroach. Like that looks like Brussels Sprouts new girlfriend. But I wasn't really sure because I had only seen the picture that he had posted on her on Snapchat the week prior. But y'all, in that picture, it wasn't like a clear picture of her. Like I believe she was asleep in that picture. Like her head was kind of like tilted to the side. Like I couldn't really tell if it was her or not, but I just felt like it was her because who else would be like piercing my scalp with their eyes other than an ex, the person that don't like me. So I'm with my girl Kay and I'm like, Kay, can you look to the right of me and tell me who that is? I describe the girl. Like, is she looking at me or whatever? And um, she looks and he was just like, yeah, that's Brussels Sprouts new girlfriend. I'm like, okay, I thought that was her or whatever. So like, y'all, we don't have any words or anything, but I just felt like this girl like looking me up and down, staring me up and down. Like I didn't really see her, but I could just feel that she was just like her presence were there. Like she wasn't, she wasn't even close to me, y'all, but I could just I just felt her on me. I carry on. My day goes by. By this point, y'all, I'm dating. Um, well, I think I was already dating um, Bummy. If y'all don't know who Bummy is, y'all need to watch my last story time about how I let a bum move in. That's Bummy. Bummy from Miami. So I'm dating Bummy at this time. And Bummy lived in Bummy lived in University Green. And I remember one night it was me bummy my boyfriend at the time and his friend and we were going to go get like pizza we were just going out for dinner and on our way leaving um his apartment i seen brussels sprout brussels sprout had this big kool-aid smile on his face and he was walking a dog and he was with a girl that looked nothing like cockroach like he was with a completely different girl and brussels sprout didn't see me but i seen brussels sprout and at the time i was like wait like that don't look like his girlfriend because his girlfriend was light-skinned and she had like natural hair and then the girl that he was with was dark skin and she had like really short hair so i'm just like hmm that look a little fishy but then again that ain't none of my business so you know i keep it moving or whatever and then you know i go out to eat me bummy his friend we go get food we come back to the um apartment complex so later i end up finding out that brussels sprout lives in the same apartment complex as bummy like my 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 current boyfriend so i'm like dang like i can't get away from this nigga like showing up at my parents house you're still talking about me like you have a whole nother girlfriend but every time somebody comes to me and they say oh brussels sprout said this about you or aren't you brussels sprout girlfriend it's just like which one like how do y'all know to keep reverting back to me like brussels sprout done had about five six seven eight girlfriends since we broke up two years ago but people kept coming back to me like why y'all coming back to me like i'm not the most recent ex i'm like the ex 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 but y'all keep coming back to me but anyway y'all i'm at i'm literally at um y'all i still can't believe this shit happened to this day 
just it just we, we gonna go ahead and get there so one day y'all i'm at um bummy house and i'm on the bed and i get a call from brussels sprouts mom and she's in distress y'all and she calls me she's breathing hard she's talking really fast she's like asia 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 where you at where you at where you at you busy i'm like no ma'am i'm home asia asia i need you to do me a favor do me a favor i'm like yes ma'am ma'am Brussels Sprout is in trouble. Brussels Sprout is in trouble. Can you please go to Brussels Sprout house? He in trouble. So I'm just like, he in trouble? Like, what type of trouble? Like, what's going on? She was just like, um, what did she say? Okay, she was just like, oh, the girl calling the police on him. The girl trying to lie and say he is. The girl done stabbed him up. The girl done stabbed him. She stabbed him. She stabbed him. <laughs> Asia, I need you to make a way up. Asia, please go over there. Please go check on Brussels Sprout. So at the time, I really didn't know what to say, y'all. So I was just like, I'm going to have to call you back. And I hung up the phone, y'all. And at this time, I'm literally at, um, I'm literally at Bummy house. I'm at my current boyfriend house. So Bummy is there in the bed with me. He was just like, who, who, who that is? And like I said, y'all, Bummy was real crazy and controlling. So of course, I couldn't be like, oh, that's my ex-mom calling me. Because she's going to be like, oh, why she calling you? So I'm just like, oh, um, nobody. That's just my auntie. Like, that's my auntie or whatever. So I was really trying to get off the phone because I'm with my current boyfriend. And my former boyfriend's mom is calling me. So... I'm in the room, I text her, and I'm just like, um, um, what's going on or whatever. So she texted me back, and she was like, the girl tried to stab him, and she's calling the police and going, and she, and she she's going to lie to the police. Or she told him that she was going to lie to the police and say that he hit her or whatever. And she was calling her uncles and her brothers over there to jump him. So she explains all that to me. And she ends up, like, she's calling my phone the whole time while I'm texting her. But, of course, y'all, like I said, I could not talk. So, finally, I get out of the bed with Bummy. And I go outside. And I'm on the phone with her. And she's like, Asia, could you could you please, could you please go over there? And I'm just like, um, I really don't know where he live at. She's like, I'll send you the address, baby. I'll send you the address. Please, please go over there. But at the same time, y'all, I'm kind of like, now that I'm older, I'm thinking, like, what did his mama want me to do? Like, what did Miss Brussels Sprout want me to do? Like, did you want me to go over there and fight the girl? Like, I'm not I'm not going to jail for him. And definitely not for her. Like, you know, in jail, you can't get your head on. You can't get your nails done. Like, I, you think I'm about to go over there and get in that? So I really was trying to find a way to basically tell her no or to act like I was helpless. Because, y'all, like I said, we live in the same complex. As all of this is going on, y'all, I start hearing sirens. I start hearing the ambulance, the police circling around the apartment complex. Literally... Bummy lives right here and Brussels Sprout literally lives the building in front of him. So in order for a cops or anybody to go to the back of the building, I would see them. They would have to pass his apartment. So while I'm outside on the phone with her, I, I'm literally hearing sirens. But Miss Brussels Sprout, she doesn't know that I have a new relationship. She doesn't know that my current boyfriend lives in the same complex as him. So I end up um, texting her and I was just like, okay, um, what's his number? I'll call him or whatever. She's like, okay, please try to call him. He not answering the phone. So I call him. Of course, the phone goes straight to the voicemail. No answer. But I remember, like I said, y'all, we dated for like, we dated for like mm, two years. So I still knew his friends. I still knew who he hang with. So I called his ex roommate, which I was assuming it was his current roommate now. So I called him and I'm just like, hey, um, poo poo. Um, Brussels Sprout in trouble. His mom just called me and said that the police is over there. He just got stabbed. Is there any way you can go over there and check it out? And the, the um, ex-roommate is just like, who this is? Who this is? This Asia? I'm like, yeah, this Asia. So he's like, all right, I'm going to talk to him. I'm, I'm on my way over there. So that happens. I um, text his mama and I'm just like, uh, I'm not going to be able to come over there because I got to get ready and go to work in a little bit. But I did let his ex-roommate know what was going on or whatever. And... After that, y'all, I was kind of, like, freaked out. But at the same time, I was tickled. I'm not even going to lie. Like, y'all, I'm not lying. Why am I lying to y'all? I wasn't freaked out, y'all. I, was, I wasn't happy that he had got stabbed because I didn't know the severity of the situation. But I was a little tickled because it's just like, dang, I'm the crazy one. But now you got her. Like, now you got her. Like, I'm crazy. Like, to her, I'm angelic. Like, I'm an angel. I have a halo. So, I'm a little tickled by the situation or whatever. I go back in the house like nothing happened. Now I'm booed up with Bummy. So my situation was no better, y'all. But at that time, I thought I was one up. So I'm in the bed. I'm with my man. We're watching TV or whatever. The night ends. Um, and then 
I don't really hear anything after that. Like, I don't hear much after that. I remember, like, there was rumors going around because, like I said, he was friends. Like, we had mutual friends. So, mutual friends was telling me um, that he had this happen, this happened, that happened. But I never really had a confirmed answer what happened at that time. I don't really know. Is he in the hospital? Is he okay? I don't really know what's going on at this time. Like I said, we were not in communication at all. The only way I had his number was because his mom had gave me his number. Like, we weren't talking at all. So that happens and then fast forward, um, Bobby is a bum, I break up with him, we're no longer together and I'm now living in Cinema Grand. This is kind of a spin off on another story time but this story time, oh excuse me y'all, but this story time is no longer up so I'm going to go ahead and pass through it a little bit so y'all can know how I found out like what happened with the whole situation. So fast forward, I'm living in a whole different apartment complex now, I'm in Cinema Grand, um, um, I'm no longer with Bummy. I'm single now. Um, probably like maybe a month after I had moved in, my ex contacts me and he's like, um, Asia, I need somewhere to live. Brussels sprout. He contacts me. He's like, Asia, I need somewhere to live until my um, apartment is ready. Is there any way you can let me move in with you? Like, I'll pay you. Like, I just need to move in with you for like three weeks because my apartment is going to be ready on like, I don't know y'all. It was like August or something. And I did think about it long and hard, but at that time, I knew that I was over him, but I just didn't want to let him back in my life in that way. Like, y'all knew what was going to happen. We was really going to get busy in them sheets because, like, while our ex is living together, like, we, like I only had one bed, so where was he going to sleep at? So I knew that if I would have got, if I would have let him live with me, y'all, it would have really set me back mentally like i would have been i would have just been set back so i respectfully told him no or whatever he also did have a um dog or whatever um i told him no i told him his dog cannot stay with me and it was no hard feelings like he was just like all right i understand um do you you don't have a man like what's the reason but he was asking me what was the reason but he was still kind of understanding so i'm just like no i don't have no man me and bummy broke up it don't have nothing to do with a man it's just mentally i'm not ready to let no one move into my apartment so i told him no or whatever and we were still cool after that like we would still speak cordially hey in there or whatever and then fast forward i'm at cinema grand my cousins are at my house this particular day and i just remember us all being in the room we talking we chatting and one of my cousins comes in the house and he's like, oh, Asia, I just seen Brussels sprout. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, that's just my ex. Like, okay. And uh, he's like, oh, he about to pull back back over here. So he pulls back over there. He backs his car in, y'all. I go outside. My two cousins I have, Andrea and Andre. Hey, girl, if you're watching this. So I go outside and um, he backs in and we all kind of just talking and the situation with him and the ex-girlfriend comes up or whatever. He was just talking about her with my cousin. So he's like, yeah, bro, she was crazy. I'm done with her. Like that girl was crazy. Y'all know I'm tickled the whole time when like, he's saying all of this. I'm like, mm. but you said I was crazy. Like, like you said I was crazy. Like to, to her, I'm an angel. I have a halo. I'm angelic. Like to her baby so all of this is being said we just having a whole conversation about that he ends up telling my cousins you know i'm listening y'all he ends up telling my cousins he's like oh nah she was crazy she stabbed me and she was trying to get her brothers to fight me and she threatened a lot of the police about this that and that the police got there they hurt me out um basically they just escorted the girl out they made her leave i don't know if she was charged or anything but i don't remember him saying that she was arrested or anything so we just having a key key about the situation and then i don't know why y'all but something just told me to get in his car so he's in his car and my two cousins and i i was standing outside of his car and we were like talking in the um the the parking lot so i go in his car and i sit down and i just was gonna you know resume the conversation but in the car it was a little hot out there so immediately when i get in his car he tells me to get out his car y'all and i'm just thinking like i can't even be in your car but literally last week you literally asked me can you come live with me but you won't even let me in your car so i thought that was kind of fishy i honestly was taking him for a joke y'all i didn't think he was serious but he kept repeatedly saying asia why are you in my car asia get out of my car asia get out of my car asia get out of my car but like i said at that time y'all it wasn't really registering registering to me why he was telling me to get out of his car because you just asked to live with me so i kept telling him now i'm like boy like whatever whatever so we would talk and while we were having a conversation every probably three to four minutes he would be like asia could you please get out of my car but i would just annoy him y'all and finally cockroach pulls up cockroach comes zooming through the complex y'all my building was building one so in order for her to get to her apartment 
she has to pass my apartment. So she comes zooming through the apartment, y'all. And immediately when she sees me in his car, she starts yelling, why is she in your car? Why is she in your car? Why is she in your car? So she's yelling like the girl is belligerent. She mad, hostile, all of that. She's yelling. Um, so I'm just like, dang, this is why he was telling me to get out the car. So for a minute, y'all, I'm kind of stuck because I'm like, wait a minute. You just told my cousins that y'all not together no more. Like, like, first of all, like, why is she even here? Because at this point, y'all, I didn't know that the girl lived in my um, apartment complex. I didn't know that we live in an com apartment complex. Like, like I said, y'all, Tallahassee is really, really small. So she ended up living in my apartment complex and she was literally coming to go to her apartment complex. And I guess he was meeting her over there, but I'm on the blind side looking at, I don't know any of this. If I knew any of this, I would have gladly got out of his car. Like I didn't want to bring any unnecessary drama, but immediately she's yelling, she's doing all of this. So while she's yelling, I'm still in the car. So then I get out the car, I walk up to her car and I'm just like, it's not like that. We just friends. I, I, I. So she starts getting like real hostile with me, y'all. So she's like, I don't give a F. I don't give a F. Why is she in your car? I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to you. So she's getting like, I'm just like, all right, pipe down. But like I said, y'all, I was really calm because my two cousins was there. So I knew if something was going to pop off, it wasn't going to end pretty for her because my, my family is there. So she's doing all of this or whatever. So she just, she, she zooms off and she goes to her apartment or whatever. She comes back, y'all, and she's still talking ish. And she's like, you can have him. I don't want him. He broke. He don't got nothing. He broke. And she throws his the dog. He has a dog, y'all. He threw the dog cage outside of her car. No, you can't come stay with me. No, your dog can't come stay with me. So when I see this, I immediately get kind of sad because I'm just like, now you homeless and a dog homeless, like that's a double homicide. Like I kind of feel bad, but it's not my fault that the dog homeless, like you should have told me that she was going to pull through here and I would have got out your car. So she's mad y'all. Like she's coming all very confrontational and I'm just, I'm, I, I don't remember exactly what I was saying at that time, but I know I was just like, I don't want him. If you didn't want him, like, why are you doing all this? Like, why are you mad? Like, why are you angry? Um, and she's just like, yeah, you can have him. He broke. He don't got no money. He homeless. You can have him. You can have him. So I'm like, all right, all right. Like you want him. This you want him. That's why you're mad. That's why you're upset. So we have all the words. The girl ends up leaving. Um, my ex leave and I don't really remember what happened after that. Like me and my ex were still cool. I do remember, um, I apologized to him. I texted him and I was like, um, like my apologies. I'm sorry for being in your car. Um, if I knew that she was pulling up or if I knew that y'all still had an entanglement or something going on, you could have just, you could have been 100 with me cause we not together. You could have told me that and I would have got out your car. Um, I don't even know if that man texted me back, y'all. He was he was heated, and I would have been mad too because it's just like you homeless, the dog homeless, y'all both homeless. Like it's not a pretty situation. So um, that's pretty much the end of the story time. Uh, how I left my ex for dead, and if somebody wondering like why I didn't actually go over there to try to help or why I didn't call the police or try to see what was going on, and y'all, it was simply because it wasn't any of my business. And one, it was none of my business, and two. I had a whole nother boyfriend. Like, I would be damned if my current boyfriend goes to check on his ex because his mom called and said something crazy was going on. Like, that whole situation don't have anything to do with me. So, that's the only reason why I didn't go over there. Like, if I would have been single and me and my ex would have been on good terms, then I probably would have, um, you know, lent a hand and called the police for him. I still probably wouldn't have went over there because, like I said, I'm not going to jail for nobody other than myself. You can't get your hair done in jail. You can't get your nails done in jail. Like, I'm, I'm not going to jail for, for you. Definitely not an ex. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We're really close to um, we're really close to 50K. So, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe, girl. Make sure the gray button. No, make sure the red button is gray. If it's not, what are you doing? Because y'all watching every video. So, make sure y'all subscribe for your girl. Peace. I love y'all. And I'll